I guess I better get some furniture to put in that home. So she went shopping, just like anyone would do, right? But Laura and I ended up going to Finland, Sweden, Denmark, and Norway to buy her furniture. Now, she liked 17th century antiques, so she brought back quite a few pieces. Some pieces, though, were in the museums there. Couldn't take them, so she had pictures taken. And then she had master woodcarvers recreate those to look exactly like they did in the museum. And this is one of those pieces. It's called the Swedish Bridal Table. This is what a woman would get from her family as a wedding gift. And you'll see initials and date of marriage on the front. The table in front of the windows, now that's a 17th century table, came out of a castle in Norway. The little chair came out of Finland. It's called the Three-Legged Peasant Stool. Piano here is a 1929 Steinway piano. Beautiful instrument. When you hear it played in this room, it almost sounds magical. Laura Knight, she never learned to play the piano, but any guests who did, they'd have concerts right here in the living room after dinner. All of the metal work you're gonna see throughout the home, the candlesticks, fireplace screens, light sconces, all designed by the architect and then forged on site during the five months of construction. Now that doorway in the back of the room, that gives you a peek into that tower. That's called the Chiefman's Tower. Downstairs here, this is the library of the home. Laura Knight would use that as her personal office space in the mornings. And then upstairs is a guest bedroom called the Chieftain's Room. But that library was one of Laura Knight's favorite rooms in this house. We're pretty well known for our dragons. We have quite a few of them. Uh, these beams, she saw similar ones hanging in a Viking's castle. She had some sketches done. But these were actually carved back here at Viking's home by her master woodcarver from Sweden. Um, these are special. There's a small dragon on the center, the big dragon. These are called pregnant dragons. But for the Vikings, the dragon is a symbol of protection. Now, if you guys want to try counting while you're walking around, <laughs> see how close you can get to how many we found. <laughs> I'll start you off with 16 out on that front porch. So start at 16. <laughs> the room that's right across from us, that's the main dining room of the home. All meals were served in that room. That table expanded to sit 12 people. She never had more than 12 people staying in the main house because she always made sure everyone had a seat at her dining room table. The only rules at Viking's home had to do with the meals. She did expect you on time for the meals and properly dressed for them. So sorry to say right Here you go. What's the purpose of um, so in Scandinavia, they hung heavy tapestries to keep the grease from the room. out here than when Laura had the home. Originally there were some beautiful fir trees in the center here, so this courtyard was fully shaded. Now a few years ago the state discovered those trees had a rod disease, so they had to cut them out before they fell. And when they cut the trees out, we went from full shade to full sun. Which you can see how much these roofs like that sun. <laughs> Not at all. This side's a little better because of the shade over here, but the roofs are going to be replanted. They're going to replant these gardens. The door here was just restored a couple years ago, and you can see where it's already bleaching out. So all these projects out here, once again, tour tickets are going to help us. So maybe you'll help us get our shade back here. We'll only keep our fingers crossed. Now put that in for her access down here. So her guests would drive down that road, pull right through the greaseway here, and then up to this front door. All your things, take into your room for you. Chauffeur would take the car, wash it, service it, and fill it with gasoline. There's a gas pump mm -hmm. over on the other side of the stone building there. So she was a wonderful hostess. Whatever a guest needed, it was provided to them. If they wanted to go boating, she kept boats in a lagoon out front. If you wanted to go fishing, you could go back here in Desolation Wilderness. 
She'd set you up with horses from a nearby stable, picnic lunch, and a guide. You'd spend your day fishing, and guess what? For dinner, you're going to have tonight. Fish. It's going to be fish. <laughs> now, if you... You got Marley? Look at this clock. 